209 ever or the server go through looks like he's heading into about uh, fifth or sixth place at the moment that interesting battle earlier on has split a bit at the moment. She's uh, running somewhere, around about a couple of minutes off the pace uh, of us over from the, the top spot. This is the girl, Chanton Gokpour, then, who really has uh, set this race alight. The crowd then moving their way back down towards the finish to see the uh, the end of the race. And been in the saddle now for uh, well over two hours. And the uh, spectators here just come out to watch the rest of them grovel. You see in the background the ski lift, a beautiful part of the world. They have a mountain bike school up here. The Chantal Ducour shouldering that bicycle, riding one of these uh, special GT ones. In fact, I think that's a titanium one. Many of the riders using titanium frames now to lighten the bike, and you can see why when you get into these conditions. So, Julius Furtado, with all that trouble, she, her gears are banging up and down at the moment, hanging on, but what a close battle this one is we've got then, because Tommy Jacks is almost on a wheel, but coming in then to the finish, this girl has made it though, so Chantal de Corp has taken that one. She is the victor of the race at uh, Mount uh, uh, Snow, and there she is, and she looks delighted with that one. So Chantal de Corp first across the line, and quite a big gap, back, uh, by the way, at the moment. There's, there's going to be something like several minutes between it. Yes, Portalo coming in here, despite the problem, she's coming to second place then. Still not. Uh, Too pleased, I think, with that second place, but um, nevertheless, she's smiling with it. And uh, who's coming into third? Tommy Jacks has made this one then. So Tommy Jacks crossing the line right now, and that's it. Well, um, I wonder just how Chantal Decor felt about that one. The congratulations from the uh, GT teammates here, but undoubtedly Chantal Decor must be quite satisfied with her performance today I in this uh, in this race. Be with me, and yeah, it was a little bit with Tammy, and then she 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 lost 20 seconds every lap, and I was feeling just good, no pain, and just feeling strong, and I think that helps. Were you aware of how Julie was doing relative to you? Yeah, the, the guy with the motorcycle told me about how how, how long was the gap, and I was pretty confident about it. I was feeling good enough to keep my my um, my gap. Well, unfortunately then, Julie Fadada, having broken that back wheel, just couldn't catch her coming in towards the end, and she sold it on then. She had to undo her brake to stay in contention. Took second place. You can see it there on your screen at the moment. Sarah Ballantyne back in fourth, but the disappointment then for the girl who finished in fifth place because she's lost the lead at the moment. The Grundig UCI Mountain Bike World Cup. Uh, Matt is now dropping back into second place. It happens to be the best of the five performances of the 10, by the way, plus the finish at Vail. Uh, in the state, so it could still change as far as the girls are concerned. And this man then at Tomac still determined to hammer his authority on this one, the seventh lap coming into the final lap, and already you can see here, beginning to overtake uh, one of the riders, uh, that means he's one clear lap up on Ian Austin of the USA number 107. I give you some idea of the way in which these top riders have trounced what are very, very good riders indeed uh, behind them. As uh, Gerda Zadrobliak, the uh, Austin winner of the San Sebastian, San Sebastian bike uh, classic uh, down there in Spain about three years ago. Now switched to mountain bike racing in fine style. Comes through just ahead of Daryl Price. Jeep, it says, well, they're the sponsor of this Norba series uh, in America. And there he goes. Well, Tomax way up the road, by the way, and undoubtedly, as you'd expect, because he, he won this race uh, here last year. He knows his way around uh, Mount Snow, Vermont. He won the hill climb, the downhill, and the cross country here. They slightly changed the course, but Frischnet is moving his way up, beginning to go past uh, some of the back markers. And all the time, he's been cutting his way through. He's just past Hanshard of Canada. And you can see then struggling to stay in contention, Ned Overend. But uh, he's gone down the road, has Frischnet, and... Uh, Ned has got a lot of skill, a lot of experience, and this is the man they're chasing after. Again, pounding up this climb. If you have only just switched on, let me tell you, this one here is a real tough one. They're covering eight laps, 32 miles, a four-mile loop. There's 2.5 miles of downhill, 1,600 vertical feet it is, 800 feet of climbing per lap. No wonder some of the riders now are getting to put it mildly, a bit cream crackered. Uh, just the back view there of uh, Gerhard Zabrilak for GT, but I rather think right now that uh, Daryl Price is beginning to have to settle uh, for fourth place. He seems to have lost the uh, sting in his legs, and Frischnet still working his way up right now. 
And there behind the motorcycle lead, further problems are happening back on the course, by the way. And here comes the uh, leader, John Tomac. Zavidlek and Dal Price having trouble staying with uh, Frischner, who's done a great ride. As I said earlier on, he had trouble when he dropped his tyre in, in a tube into the back wheel, and he's worked up remarkably well, Frischner. Look at the way he's coming through here. He's about to get Zavidlek, he's come right the way through. He was not in the first 20 or so uh, at the end of the first lap, and showing all the skills of uh, a world junior cyclocross champion, and here this man to a very hard, tough competitor, Bear in mind, he's had to do it all on his own. He's not had anybody with him, so he's been out there setting a fast pace for the rest to follow. And Tomac doing what he likes to do best of all. That's given some stick right from the front. European cross-country champion in Spa way back in 1989. Look who he's got with him now, because uh, coming up very quickly indeed, Frischneck has closed that gap down. Right behind him there, Zadriblek, he's gone past him as well. Only seconds separating these riders, and there Frischneck has got Tomac inside. This is a tremendous bit of bike riding, and uh, Tomac knows now that he's got to ride hard to stay in contention. There, the motorcycle in front to lead them round. Uh, that's what they do on the final lap, and Frischneck looking remarkably good. Good. What a great ride. Well, to come back as he had done from uh, being so far down, this is the style of a man. Look at that bike light on his shoulder. That's one thing in mountain bike technology recently. We've had bikes lighten quite a bit. And he rides a Richie, who has been very much in making uh, racing frames many years ago. And Tom, a uh, great developer to making quite light frames. And of course, here, uh, John Tomac riding with on the carbon fiber frame that's stuffed into aluminium lugs and stuck together with his uh, Tioga back wheel there. Uh, we're round but we have had a hell of a battle here today and uh, luck for GT but here we go out there as the motorcycle comes in we've had problems on the course Tomac who we saw in the lead has in fact hit a spectator and he's not going to finish in first place he's out of it and as, as, as he passed through there Frischner he got him as he went past him when uh, Tomac hit the spectator so that put him back in second place and look at Zdrivlik coming down so in fact a bad luck then for uh, Tomac that he is now in second place just behind Frischnick. well that was close and so the leader on the World Cup series uh, has got that one in the bag. Misfortune for uh, John Tomac as uh, Zadrivlek tried to take the tread off his tyres. I like the sport, I like the people in the sport, I like racing and uh, always if you feel comfortable with everything then you have good results. I have no pressure at all and uh, I just enjoy racing right now. I've got a good form and uh, everything is just uh, perfect right now. Well, it must be perfect. He uh, has had, what, that's his fourth win now, as far as Frischnet's concerned. Keeps him up there in the league. Got 52 points from that one. Tomac, unfortunately, back in second place. John's not had the best of seasons so far. He's won a couple of races, John. Uh, but I'm sure he'll be looking to try and win them before we move up to Vale for the finish. So he keeps the lead, Frischnet, 331 points ahead of John Tomac. Net over and moving there in third. Tim Gould's doing well, fourth overall. Zadriblek back into fifth place. So, to, uh, Tim, for your British supporters, rode quite a great race today, enjoyed himself there. He finished, in fact, in sixth place overall in the race. Tim Davis from Wales finished in eighth spot. So myself, David Duffield, for Eurosport coverage of the Grundig Series. It's time to say bye-bye to you all. There's more coming up in a week's time. Bye-bye.